Hi, here's Max and welcome to another, but this week, very short video. I am on vacation right now, but still would like to inspire you a little bit. I got a whole bunch of questions with regards to the mini album series and I will do my very best to answer them. One of these questions, for example, was about the cloth rosette from the Multiflap album and how to do that. Well, this was not my own idea and there are thousands of videos about this here on YouTube, but as many of you are interested in that, here's the little tutorial. You will need some craft felt, the color doesn't matter as nobody will see that in the end. You want to cut a circle out of that felt with either a circle die or even cut it by hand. And we need some simple cotton cloth that preferably unravels very easily. We are now tearing a strip of 3 to 4 centimeters out of that cloth. Tearing is the easiest and most precise way to get a straight strip out of that cloth. Simply cut it at the edge and then off we go. This strip will now be folded in half and sewed with the machine. I saw some other tutorials where this has been done with a heat gun, but for me sewing works best. First, because I think it's very handy for me, and second, because the cloth doesn't get that stiff before we even start it. So, the band that we now have has to be cut every quarter or half a centimeter up to the seam. You can simply eyeball this, precision is neither needed nor intended here. Once you have finished that, you want to flip the band through your fingers and even crumble it in your hands to let the cloth fray further and the threads unravel even more. At the end, the cloth shall look as shabby as possible. And now it's time to bring this in a flower shape. And now even I am using my glue gun, as this is the quickest way of bringing the whole thing together. Just bring a line of glue onto the outer edge of the felt and then press the lower, uncut edge of the band onto it. But be careful, the stuff is very hot if it gets in direct contact with your skin. If you finish the first round, the glue will now be put onto the lower, uncut edge of the previous round. By doing so, curl up the whole band right up to the middle and cascade every new round so that the previous round can still be seen by 3 to 5 millimeters. I use a pearl with rhinestones as an embellishment for the middle. These are very inexpensive, as I got these from the wedding section in the dollar store. But you can use almost everything you like. Buttons, beads, jewels and everything you can think of. But it is essential that you also glue this very tight to ensure that it doesn't fall off. Because this is your eye catcher. So here I cut the needle and now try to further increase the distressed look. I'm using a simple hairbrush for that and work with it on the cloth until it's distressed enough. Keep in mind that only your personal taste is the limit. And here are some other rosettes where you can see an even higher degree of distressed cloth. So, and because I'm still not able to properly handle my camera and zoom in correctly, here is a detailed picture of the other cloth rosettes. 
But as I already said at the beginning, I will enjoy my vacation a little bit more and will be back next week with another card video. Until then, you might have another look at the Multiflap album where I used exactly this rosette or the paperback mini if you still have not seen it. And for all of you who watch this on a mobile device, I put the links in the description box below. As usual, if you liked what you see, please click on the thumbs up and leave me a comment. Also use the comments field for questions and suggestions or contact me via Facebook. So now it's your turn, go ahead and be inspired and color your life. Many thanks for watching, take care and bye bye.